The next module we're going to look at, bites and stings. So bites and stings can come from a variety of places, including human bites, animal bites, bee and wasp stings, jellyfish, weaver fish and snakes. Your casualty has been stung in the mouth by a bee and is unconscious and unresponsive. The danger has been removed and you have a bystander with you. What is your next course of action? A. Open the airway and check for breathing. B. Send your bystander to call for an ambulance immediately. C. Start CPR immediately. Or D. Place your casualty in the recovery position. So think about this. Uh, the B sting could have caused an anaphylactic reaction. So what's the first thing you should do? A, B, C or D? Effects of heat and cold. And looking at the body temperature, uh, the body maintains what we call homeostasis or internal temperature um, every second of every minute of every hour of every day. And it's generated, the heat is generated in the tissues by conversion of food to energy, by the use of muscles, by exercising or by shivering. Uh, heat can be absorbed from the sun from fire or from hot food. And you can save heat, or the body can save, uh, saves heat by constricting blood vessels at the body surface and by reducing sweating. The body loses heat by, uh, or may be lost to cool surrounding air, evaporation from the skin, and cool objects in contact with the skin. And you can lose heat by sweating and increased rate of breathing. Effects of heat and cold. Hypo, again, means too little heat. So hypothermia, body temperature falls below 35 degrees C, should remain at 37 degrees C. Um, heat exhaustion, this is caused by loss of salts and water from the body through excess sweating. And heat stroke, a failure of the thermostat in the brain. Your casualty is suffering from hypothermia after a long spell of being exposed to the cold. Which of the following must you not do? A. Insulate them from the ground and surroundings. B. Give them a hot drink. C. Remove the casualty to a warm and sheltered place. Or D. Call for an ambulance. So hypothermia is cold. So what should you not do? Asthma. What are the signs and symptoms of asthma? They include difficulty in breathing, wheezing, distress and anxiety, difficulty in speaking, grey blue skin tones or cyanosis. They may become exhausted and excess coughing. Asthma treatment help the casualty to a comfortable sitting position, calm and reassure them. Allow them to use their own inhaler and dial the emergency services if medication has no effect after five minutes, if it's their first attack, or if breathlessness makes talking difficult. And that's the end of the first aid course. So this has been the Level 3 Award in Emergency First Aid at Work. My name's Dave Summers. Thank you for listening. <laughs>